This is a picture of a functioning artificial womb that has been um, growing a developing lamb for several weeks project. But why go to all the trouble of this? Why invent new technologies? Why do what previously seemed inconceivable? The ecosystem role, what is it that they want the woolly mammoth to do out in the wild? The answer has to do with the climate crisis that we're currently in, which we know is getting worse. So back in um, the former habitat of the woolly mammoth, places like Siberia, there are enormous swaths of land con constituted of permafrost. And this permafrost contains a lot of carbon materials. So animals that have lived there over millennia and died and fallen into the ground, and even more significantly, the vegetation that's there. So as permafrost is now warming because of climate change, we're learning it's not really permanently frozen like the name suggests. It's thawing, and as it thaws, it releases these carbon contents out into the atmosphere, which get uh, emitted as carbon dioxide or methane, two of the greenhouse gases that, of course, have us in the warming cycle in the first place. And this creates a vicious feedback loop whereby the more that these greenhouse gases are being emitted by the permafrost, the more it warms up the permafrost and thaws more, and then there's more emissions, and on and on we go. And it's believed that there's twice as much carbon trapped up in the world's permafrost right now than there is already currently in the atmosphere that is causing the warming effects. So scientists are desperate to come up with innovative ways to keep the carbon locked up in these frozen soils. And if you think of what the habitat is like today, for much of the year, it's covered by a thick blanket of snow. And blankets are insulating. They keep things warmer than they otherwise would be. So the idea here is that if you could get giant, marauding, heavy beasts, woolly mammoths, walking around, punching holes in the snow with their big mammoth feet as they're looking for a blade of grass in the winter months to eat and turning over the snow, you're actually creating perforations in that insulating blanket that then act as ventilating holes that allow frigid cold air from the atmosphere to tunnel down and then hit the topsoil and allow cycling of cooler air, which will hopefully affect temperature change. And um, there are preliminary studies to show that indeed massive trampling of hoofed animals in a concentrated area in this habitat will cause a fairly significant temperature change. But the idea here is that mammoths become the ultimate way to engineer that change because not only do they trample, but they are, um, these hybrids are of course highly related to elephants we know elephants are very aggressive. They hope that these mammoth-elephant hybrids would also be very aggressive and thereby knock over thick, dark trunks of trees that otherwise absorb the sun's heat because dark things absorb heat, and that their dung would fertilize lighter grasses that are reflective of the sun's energy back up into the atmosphere. That would start to collectively make that entire swath of the mammoth steppe ecosystem turned back into something more like what it was during the Pleistocene when mammoths were here.